Biography of Bet Nesmith Graham, Inventor of Liquid Paper, Tip X. Bet Nesmith Graham. Bet Nesmith Graham is an American typist, commercial artist, and inventor of liquid paper, or what we know as Tip X. She is also the mother of musician and producer Michael Nesmith of the Monkees. Bet Nesmith Graham was born March 23, 1924, in the city of Dallas, Texas, USA. Bet was raised in her hometown by her parents, Jesse and Christine McMurray. As usual, education is very important in life. Bet doesn't even like education at school. In fact, he had to be expelled from high school at the age of 17. However, his interest in work was very strong. Diligently, she applied to several companies who wanted to accommodate her to work as a secretary. After applying for jobs here and there, he was finally accepted by a company. With the support of the company where she works, Bet Graham continues her postponed studies. He then continued his intellectual career at secretarial school. In 1943, she married at the age of 19 to Warren Nesmith, an American soldier who participated in World War II. But unfortunately, the marriage did not last long. After a divorce in 1975, Bet Graham was appointed executive secretary at Texas Bank and Trust in Dallas. His work requires speed and accuracy, making him often make mistakes when typing on an electric typewriter. This mistake also happened to his colleagues at the office. The Discovery of Liquid Paper One day, Bet Graham saw a painter who layered the colors of a picture with other paints. Then, he was inspired to create something that could cover typing errors on paper. Some literature states that Bet Graham mixed liquid paper by blending tempera paint according to the color of the paper and put it in small bottles so it was easy to carry everywhere. The liquid is smeared over the place where the typo was made. To apply the concoction paint, he uses a small brush. Before its creator commercialized it, this liquid was known as Mistake Out. Bet Graham's simple work is quite helpful in completing the work that piles up every day. His brilliant ideas are of great interest to office workers and secretaries. To make money from his findings, he began studying promotion and marketing methods. Tirelessly, Bet continued to carry out research until the corrector fluid she made became more perfect. After several years of perfecting her findings, Bet Graham began to dare to offer mistake out to the IBM company, which at that time dominated the office equipment business. However, his efforts failed. IBM refused on the grounds that Mistake Out had no selling points. However, this did not weaken Bet Graham's spirit. He then founded the Mistake Out company business at his home. Not long after her business was established, Bet Graham experienced a difficult ordeal. He was fired from his job because of an unforgivable mistake. This bad luck was used to market the products he made. With minimal capital, Bet Graham promoted and marketed typing error masking fluid. In fact, to increase sales value, he changed the name Mistake Out to Liquid Paper and continued to produce and sell the product from his kitchen and garage for the next 17 years. His first largest order occurred in 1962. A trader from San Antonio bought up his product. In 1967, the company became a large company and succeeded in supplying its products to 31 countries. In fact, in 1976 the company, which was later named Liquid Paper, was able to generate a net profit of more than 1.5 million U.S. dollars. In 1979, Gillette Corporation bought the entire Bet Company and Liquid Paper patents for 47.4 million U.S. dollars and royalties on every bottle sold. At that time, his company employed 200 people and made 25 million liquid paper bottles per year. Death Bet Nesmith Graham died on May 12, 1980, aged 56. He was buried at his birthplace in Richardson, Texas.